Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is a quick little project share. Um, I've been kind of working off and on on this project for a while. Um, it is using this die set from Scrap Diva. It's called the Journal Page Pocket. Um, I decided to make a mini album out of it. And so I, um, yeah, so I want to share with you what I have done. I actually have pictures in this one. <laughs> um, I made it to put some of the pictures of Rosalind in it. Um, I'm using the mostly the Parasol collection from Maggie Holmes for this. And I have it like attached down here to one of these little two ring binder things that I bought a long time ago. And sorry if you hear a bunch of yelling and screaming. <laughs> Rosalind and her papa are playing, tickling, wrestling. <clears throat> so. <laughs> They get pretty intense sometimes. So anyway, if you hear that, sorry, but that's what's going on. Um, so anyway, this is the, um, it's a little, you know, metal ring binder that I had in my stash from years ago. I decided to use it and that's how I am making this, how I attached it, uh, my pages to it. I put a couple little, um, like, bling pieces down there covering up where I attached it. So the cover is made out of acetate. I just kind of made like a long piece of acetate and flipped it over. I stitched around the edges and then I attached one of those little snap things right there. So it opens up like this. So my first page is like this. So again, this is the journal page pocket. So I did, it has the center cut out. So what I did was um, uh, I have this pocket so the the this is the inside so I've attached the picture to the inside so then it has the um, you know the acetate on the outside so that shows through uh, so you can see through it and so I just attached it behind here and then I also made um, little tags to pull out up here too so I could do more little pictures or journaling or both and so it gives me you know more places to to add things to it so I have this cute little Pull back here for the um, it's a like a felt um, it's like a felt uh, border piece or ribbon piece anyway um, I just stapled it on there and then I made these I, I matted these papers um, and then attached some uh, trim to the top of those so it makes it decorative and makes it easy to pull out of the um, thing so I didn't put any pictures on the back side yet but I probably will because you know there's more room there so and I just kind of decorate. I stitched around the pockets um, on these. And so it just goes back in there. So that's the first one. Get a little bow there. Um, uh, so Maggie Holmes is, isn't from Parasol. It's from another collection. Um, but I decided to use it on the front there. So there's that. And then on the back page, I have this one. <laughs> um, uh, so I got my little picture, I matted it. So I, I used the part that cuts out of the center here. So I use that as like a mat to, and of course my picture was the same size, just happened to be. <laughs> so I um, just kind of offset it a little bit. So the little bit of the pattern would show through here on the bottom, attached a rosette, some little um, enamel dots from the collection and a little word says keep growing. And so then on this side, so this picture is attached here. And on this side, in the pocket, it's still got a pocket, so I stuck more down in there, but I just added a tag here um, on this, on these back pages so that I can, you know, add um, journaling and that kind of stuff. So then this is the next page. It says Skittles, because she's got Skittles there on the top of her head. <laughs> so um, this here, I decorate, I made, um, this is Scrap Diva's Edge Flower that I made a little flower out of, white glitter, and then I used one of the little enamel dots there on the top again. Okay, so then this, so I can pull out this piece again, okay, and then I can pull out this, and then I could, I could even mount a picture back in there too, so I'd have as you pull it out, you could reveal another picture back there, too, which I might still do. I just, you know, ever since I used to have tons of pictures, I have tons of pictures in boxes of old pictures. But since, you know, digital came along, it's like I have all these things on all these devices, but no printed out ones. So I made a point to go, you know, actually get some prints so I could actually put them in the book. 
So anyway, here's that pocket there, so I can stick that back in there again. Okay, so then I stick this back here in the top. So really fun little um, die set. It comes with, um, here's all the pieces. So what, here's like the, the outside. So here's like the part that folds around. You can just like attach this to something else already. You know, like a, you know, to a journal. It's, 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 its name is Journal Page Pocket. So um, you could just fold this in and attach it. So, and then it's got, you know, layering pieces. And then this one here is shaped. So it gives you the, you know, place to pull. This can, it's smaller, so it will fit down inside there so you can pull it out. Um, it also comes with these two things that will, um, uh, you can layer and use it to create, um, um, you know, so it will cut out, uh, you know, the, center. The center, this is going to cut out itself anyway, okay, because it's got the thing there. But then you can use this to, um, you know, make, you can make a shaker out of it and that kind of stuff too, so. So there's those. Then it also comes with these pieces here, which is, so you got this, like, plate right here, where you can see that's right there, okay. So you can add that on too. This is a plate that you can attach down there. I didn't use that part, but Anyway, and then it has these like little shovels and tools and stuff. So it could go real cute with like a garden theme or something like that. I made one, um, I used the shovel for, um, also for like in a sequin mix. But it turned out really cute. So anyway, that is what comes with it. So um, yeah, cute die set. And you can do all different kinds of things with it. So anyway, here is the next page. So, <laughs> this is one of my favorite pictures ever of Rosalind. Look at that little, cute little face she's making. So anyway, here's the picture. It's layered up a few times. Again, here's here's this this piece here with the um, you know with a rounded edge. You can pull. It gives you a place to pull. So again, on the back side, because this is the back side, I attached. I stuck in a, a a tag. I'm just lightly decorated with some of the chipboard and stuff. Then here's this page. Okay. Um, so this one just has a tag, I put a bow on top, and then I put some of the trim on the side, attached a cute little butterfly, um, uh, bow clip. This is a Scrap David Designs, um, also, I had previously made this, but I decided to, to use it on this, um, project. So, then, um, again, I can, um, pull out this pocket, okay, there's my picture. And then again, with this trim here, I pull out, there's another tag right there, or another place for smaller pictures and journaling, okay? Again, that's open, okay? That just sticks back inside there. I can get it to go back in there, hang on. Oh, it's because I had that clip there, duh. So it was pinching it down so it wouldn't let me go in. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, here's the next, this is the back of that page. Okay, so again, just layered it up, offset it. And then again, um, here is the um, a tag I stuck down there. This is some of the ephemera and pieces from the Parasol collection. Um, little candy piece, Rosalind wanted to add that. She goes, since it's an album about me, can I add in, can I pick some pieces? So she wanted that candy there, so we added that candy on. Okay, and then this is the last page. So just, um, this is a piece of ephemera from the Parasol collection. I just popped it up on foam, attached this cute little um, wooden star that I had, and then this is one of those clear stickers from the sticker book. I just put a piece of foam back there and raised it up there. Okay, so again, we pull this out, and here is the picture. And then pull this out again. There's another spot for more pictures and journaling. There's the blank side so what I did on these let me well let me start finish showing you um, let me show you the back side of this and I'll show you okay so here's the last page of the back of it you're <laughs> making another funny face a little bow and then some more ephemera pieces um, from the collection and then the back side again has the cute little tag to pull out right there 
Okay, so there you can see it's attached. Um, and so what I did before I made these, before I did the inserts, I punched my holes so that I wouldn't punch a hole through my inserts. So the, the insert only goes down as far, you know, as the hole, okay? Here's the back page, it's just flipped over and flips, flips around. Okay, so let me show you what I did here. Um, so on this piece, so if, if you notice this piece here, this piece is one like you would attach to something already, and I could have used that too, but it cuts out both these holes. Or let's see, no, it doesn't cut out the bottom hole, okay? Um, it gives you a space there, but this one here, this square here does um, cut out. Okay, so what I used was, I took um, the, the biggest, layering piece right here and I cut out the the pink 110 pound cardstock okay I cut those all out with this with this piece right here okay and then I took this piece this layering piece here to cut out my my pattern paper to add on here okay so I didn't actually use this piece for this project okay I used, um, let's see, I used the, I think I used the square, let's see, I didn't use this one, I used this little one, so I used this little one here to cut out the, um, um, you know, this hole here, so it would show, show through the, show through this piece, okay, and then I used the bigger piece to cut out the acetate to you know to line the inside so it would show through. So these four pieces here are the only pieces I used to make this whole album. So I didn't even use this main base piece here. Okay. So that is how I did that. I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm gonna get um, choose some more pictures out of the ones I had printed and you know get those added in there but I wanted to share this with you guys because it makes I mean it's so versatile um, the stuff that you can do with it um, so really cute so I'll just do a quick flip through again really cute again like I say I attached I punched the holes in the bases before I made these. I mean, this is, these are just a tad bit shorter so that they don't, you know, they won't, they didn't get holes punched in them. And so that they'll just go down inside here. They'll go down as far as the rings. Okay. And again, I could have, before I put this together, I could have put another picture back behind there. So that would have been a cool look too, to have it pull out and reveal another picture behind. That would have been a really cool, um, and, you know, kind of interactive type thing to add to the thing to the um, project so anyway let me know what you think um thank you so much for watching um make sure you guys are getting ready to um follow along with the um christmas in july youtube hop starts tomorrow it'll be for saturday and sunday and there's uh, there's quite a few i think there's two there's two sets of us i think there's nine or ten in each in each um group doing their um project shares for on um, each day so make sure you guys follow along um make sure you like what you got to do because there's going to be prizes on each channel okay um from scrap diva and from some of us whoever decide to give something away also um but scrap diva on every channel but you have to make sure you like and comment and like comment and something else like comment share there's three different things i'll have it all listed <laughs> tomorrow so just be ready to watch it starts at 10 o'clock tomorrow so anyway stay tuned for all those and see all the um amazing projects that, that people are coming up with using scrap diva designs um dies and give you some um, you know some ideas for what you might want to do for christmas okay thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon bye